Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Unmask Face Mask. We purchased these from their official website. They currently cost $19.95 for one Un95 face mask, which is very expensive for just one mask. I really don't like when companies do this where they try to use the word N95 on their listing or packaging. So most, if not all, N95 respirators contain an active filtration media inside the mask called Melblown. And this mask is made out of polyester, nylon, and spandex. So it already gives me an idea that these might not pass the TSI test, but who knows, I, I could be wrong. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at these masks before we run them through our TSI machine. It has the SKU number here, which is UN95. They are made in USA. And this is how it looks. So this is a size small. So they do have stitching in the area where it should have a nose wire, but there's nothing in there. It also has beads on the ear loop so that you can adjust them to your liking. This is how they look from the inside. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can see right through the mask. You can see my fingers here moving. So let's go ahead and try these on really quick so I can see how they fit on my face. Okay, so like I said, these are a size small and they are extremely breathable. And they also had a claim on their website where it states that they don't muffle your speech, which I don't think it does. Um, they are very comfortable it feels kind of like you're wearing a jersey over your face. I am definitely getting some leakage over here, but it's because it doesn't have a nose wire, so there's no way for me to really adjust the seal. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 14.64% and a pressure drop of 0.03 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw from the TSI test results, these masks are the lowest pressure drop that we've seen so far, which means that these are extremely breathable. However, they are so breathable that they won't protect you not even 15% of the particle filtration. So unfortunately, these are not a mask that we recommend. You definitely can find yourself a pack of legit K95 or N95s within that price range and you know that they're going to be protecting you so much more than these. So we have tested a lot of great options and you can view all of the results on our website which is acumed.com and I will also be leaving a link in the description box down below along with our address if you would like to send in a mask or re respirator for us to test. So I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.